All right, I am here in Madison, Wisconsin at the State Capitol building and check out this view. Those of you who live in Wisconsin already know about this, but coming here, this is an incredible state capitol building. I think it is absolutely gorgeous and everything surrounding it. Madison in general being kind of smushed between these two lakes. Really, really like Wisconsin. Also got into going to Milwaukee last night, which was super unique, but you're not here for that. You're here to learn how Medicare works in Wisconsin. So let's talk about that. Wisconsin, you're super weird. You are one of three states that do not have standardized supplement plans. So there's you, there's your neighbor, Minnesota and Massachusetts. So the three of you kind of throw a wrench in the whole standardized supplement system of the United States and you have your own plan. So we'll start with the supplement plan side of this conversation. What you have is kind of a base plan and then you can build things on top of that. So you can build out a plan N equivalent. You can kind of build out a plan G or a plan F equivalent, but you start with this base plan and then you add on things that you would want covered through your Medicare supplement plan. Now, nationally, if a 65 year old were to go on a supplement plan G, the average would be $150 per month. If somebody here in Wisconsin were to go on what I would describe as a G equivalent, so you've built out the plan to be very similar to plan G, you're looking at about $160 per month. Similar idea around a plan N, so nationally it's $120 for a 65 year old average. And then here in Wisconsin, if you were to build out a plan N equivalent, you're looking at about $130. So just a little bit higher than the national average for those equivalent plans. Now, again, they aren't the exact same thing, but they're very similar to a plan G and a plan N. You have attained age supplement plans here in Wisconsin. What that means is that when you attain a new age, you're going to see a little bit of a bump. So there are three ways that supplement plans can be distributed. The first is going to be attained age, which we'll talk about. These typically start the lowest in terms of premiums. The next would be issue age. This is based on the age that you were issued the plan. So if I were issued a plan at 67, I'd pay a little bit more than if I was issued that plan at 65. And then the last is community rated. This is usually the highest starting point. And this one doesn't matter on your age. You can be 65 or 105, you're paying the same amount. And all three of these plans have rate increases. And the main one to talk about here is that all of them will experience a rate increase due to rising healthcare costs, inflation, and how your specific insurance company is performing in terms of their loss ratios. So there isn't a supplement plan that doesn't have rate increases. They all do. The difference with attained age plans is that you're getting that one rate increase because of the rising healthcare costs and inflation, but you're also getting what we sarcastically refer to as a happy birthday increase. So every year when you attain a new age on your birthday, you get another little bump. So with attained age plans, you can see two potential increases each and every year. And that's where when they start the lowest, eventually they can catch up to the issue age and a community rated plans. So just know that that's what's coming with an attained age plan. Nationally, the supplement plan penetration rate, so the number of people who choose a supplement plan, all letters, versus something else like an Advantage plan, FDHB, Original Medicare only, or something else, is 21%. Here in Wisconsin, you are at 23%, so just a little bit higher than the national average in terms of how many people are choosing a supplement plan. Now, you do not have any special guaranteed issue rules. You're following the national rules if somebody wanted to switch from a supplement plan to another supplement plan. We'll talk about Advantage to Supplement plan here in a minute, but right now it's supplement plan to supplement plan. Why would I want to do this? Well, let's say I'm on a plan G and I chose an insurance company that is experiencing higher than normal rate increases compared to other plans. Well, I might want to switch from my plan G on one insurance company to a different insurance company with lower rates. Well, here in Wisconsin, you don't have any special rights around this. You're going to have to go through medical underwriting. What that means is that you're going to submit your medical history, your medical questions, and then based on your health, if you have good health, that switch won't be a problem. If you have poor health, the new insurance company can charge you higher than normal rates or if it's poor enough health, you could be denied completely. So you would have to go through medical underwriting. Now there are some insurance companies that can make exceptions to this, but in general, you're gonna be going through medical underwriting if you're switching off of your supplement plan, which makes that first initial decision really important because if you're going with a company just because it has the lowest sticker cost, but it's an insurance company that's kind of buying market share by coming in really low and then they're gonna raise rates really quick, you're kind of stuck there should your health turn. So that's one reason why I advocate using an agent. Another thing to consider here would be the discount opportunities with supplement plans. So I gave you the average rates, but there are ways to drive that down through discounts that certain insurance companies are willing to offer. So I'll talk about three of them. One of them is called a multi-insured discount. What this means is that let's say that me and my spouse are both insured and have a supplement plan with the same insurance company. There are insurance companies that will say, hey, because you're both with us, we're going to give you a discount. Another version of this would be a roommate discount. So this is if I just have a roommate, somebody else living with me in my house, they don't even have to be insured on the same plan. There are companies that will give you discounts for that. The last one I'll talk about here is called the wearable discount. If you're willing to wear a smartwatch, a Fitbit, a Garmin, an iWatch, and sync that with 
an insurance company, there are certain insurance companies that will give you a discount for that and then they can see that you're active and exercising. And then there are some insurance companies that will let you stack these discounts on top of each other. So again, this is why I always advocate working with a licensed agent who's familiar with your area so that you can find the supplement plan that fits your needs and build that plan here, especially in Wisconsin because you're super weird, as well as finding insurance companies that are stable. They have stable rate increases. They aren't just buying market share and then raising rates really quick. And then they find you those discounts to drive your costs even lower. And I'm not even saying you have to use us, just use an agent, even if it's our competitors who can help you find these things and get a plan that suits you really, really well. And you're not having to switch all of the time or worry about medical underwriting because you picked the wrong plan. If you would like our help, I do have partners who are licensed and familiar here in Wisconsin. I'll get to that more towards the end of the video. I'll wrap up this supplement plan side of the conversation with those who are pre-65 and qualifying for Medicare. So you're disabled, you've been diagnosed with end-stage renal disease or ESRD, or you've been diagnosed with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. If any of those are happening, you can qualify for Medicare before 65. In most states, you don't have a lot of options. You're kind of either stuck with nothing, you have to go original Medicare only or an Advantage plan or coordinate with your employer. In some states, you have very limited letters like plan A only. And then in a lot of the states, you're paying a lot more pre-65. In Wisconsin, you kind of fall into that category. So your Wisconsin version of supplement plans are available for those pre-65, but you're looking at three to eight times more expensive than what a 65 year old would pay. Now, the good news with this is that once you do reach 65, you have a new window open up where you can get onto the regular plans and you'll be paying the same amount as any other 65 year old. But pre-65, you're stuck with either really high supplement plans or you're gonna go with an Advantage plan, you're gonna go original Medicare only, or you're gonna coordinate with an employer plan with your own employer or a spouse. All right, let's switch over to the Advantage plan side of the conversation. Now, Advantage plans in Wisconsin, especially in your larger cities, are very strong. This is a big Advantage plan market. This isn't me saying that you should or shouldn't. It's just the facts around the numbers that we see here. The Advantage plan penetration rate nationally is 50%. Again, we talked about with supplement plans. How many people are choosing Advantage versus everything else? Here in Wisconsin, you're at 55%. That's the sixth highest in the country. So a higher than normal amount of people are going with Advantage plans here in Wisconsin. As is the case that I've talked about in a lot of these videos, Advantage plans in general, what's happening here is that in the larger cities, you have more of a competition. More insurance companies are in the larger cities. You have more hospital networks and hospital systems that they can use. So your plans, Advantage plans wise, are going to be stronger in larger cities. In more rural areas, you're not gonna have as many options. And in general, they aren't as strong. So that holds true here as well. In your larger cities, you got some very strong Advantage plans. In the more rural areas, you're a little bit more limited on what options are available to you. Nationally, the average maximum out of pocket. So your maximum risk on an Advantage plan. The national average is $5,000. Here in Wisconsin, it is $4,500. So you're a little bit less than the national average there. There are a lot of things that go into that decision of an Advantage plan. So again, please use an agent to help you with this, even if it's not us. If you do want to use us, I do have partners. They're licensed and familiar here. Email is in the description. You can go to the retirementers.com. We'd be more than happy to help you in any way that we can if you're looking for plans here in Wisconsin. Now, I like to leave a secret code word at the end of all of these videos just to show that you've made it this far. And then if you leave this code word in the comments, and I can take the comments a little bit more seriously because I know you've watched the full video. Now, when I was growing up, I played a lot of basketball and I had a Super League team. Our name was the Badgers and we were red and white. Even though this is my first time ever to Wisconsin, I've always liked the Wisconsin Badgers because they were the same color and they had the same mascot as my Super League team growing up. So the keyword is Badger. If you leave Badger in the comments, again, I'll know that you've made it this far and that'll be our little secret. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It helps more than you know. My family and I are going to continue explore Wisconsin a little bit more, get some yummy foods, and I will see you in the next video.